And now back to batteries. When it comes to battery-powered vehicles, we're not exactly talking adrenaline rush, are we? Take the humble milk float. For years, it's been the way of delivering fresh milk to the doorsteps of Britain, and it's probably the best known of all battery-powered vehicles. Incidentally, do you know why dairies chose battery power? It's because it's extremely quiet. It meant they could deliver fresh milk in the early hours of the morning without disturbing their customers' sleep. So they're very quiet vehicles, but they're also very slow vehicles. Battery power may have its selling points, but speed and adrenaline aren't two of them. But it could all be so different. Imagine the fun a milk round would be in one of these. This is a milk float built for speed, but it hasn't been designed to increase the efficiency of milk delivery. It's been built to break records. A standard battery-driven milk float has a top speed of 24 kilometers per hour. But later this year, this one will be attempting to beat the record of 117 kilometers per hour. So how do you get batteries to produce the power you need to reach those sorts of speeds? Well, to start with, this machine's got twice as many batteries on board as a normal milk float. A total of 60 in all. And by linking them up in one long string, they've been configured to deliver the maximum voltage they can. In an electric vehicle, it's the capacity of the battery that gives you the distance, or range, and the voltage that gives you the speed. But, of course, that speed comes at a cost. Whereas a standard milk float can cover almost 60 kilometers on a single round, this one would be lucky to make it round the block. This is Kevin Bourne, who's built this souped-up milk float over three years at a cost of £20,000. After a couple of light practice runs, it was time to put the pedal to the metal to see just how close to the 117 km per hour record he could get. Remember, there's no petrol power here, no clever hybrid. This vehicle is running purely on battery power. That's fast. But is it anywhere near the record? What's the speed he's done? He topped out there at 44.3 miles an hour. 44.3 miles per hour? Yeah. That may not seem all that quick, but by maximising the power from his batteries, Kevin's milk float can now do almost four times the speed it did when it worked the rounds loaded up with gold top. So today wasn't Kevin's day, but he's already working on modifications which he is confident will allow him to beat the world record using just battery power. 